Hi, I'm Bob Lindy from the Tradition School of Herbal Studies. I wanted to talk to you briefly about an upcoming free class we've got on herb-drug interactions. This is a subject that when I was first in acupuncture school and learning about herbs in particular, I saw that this was probably one of the most important subjects that we could talk about. I think it's one of the roadblocks that so many people have for utilizing herbal medicine and supplements because most people are on a prescription drug and sometimes over the counter, and we've been taught to be afraid of what possible adverse reactions we might have if we take herbs and drugs together. And the reality is there are herb-drug interactions and we should be concerned. But I also like to change the conversation that there's positive herb-drug interactions. And so I hope in this free class, and I do this class a couple of times a year, so if you happen to miss the one coming up on July 24th from 6 to 8 p.m., it's gonna be free on Zoom, but do please register so you can get a link to the Zoom. Um, I like to talk about both the positive and ne negative aspects. We can reduce side effects of some of the drugs by using herbs and make them work better. But in the same sense that if you're on certain narrow therapeutic margin prescription medications, we have to be careful with certain herbs or certain categories of herbs that we need to be concerned about. So whether you're a total novice, don't know anything about herbal medicine, or just somebody who's trying to utilize herbal medicine on their own, or you're a practitioner, whether you be a chiropractor, naturopathic physician, acupuncture physician, or an herbalist, I encourage you to check out this program. One of the things I hear from practitioners is that they don't use herbs and nutraceuticals, vitamins and minerals, is because they are concerned and their courses in school were made so complex and so difficult, they didn't feel like it was practical in order to do all of the research that's necessary. And I have some very easy ways that we can understand and predict possible herb-drug interactions, certain categories where we do have to do our homework. And I'll give you a great example. I've got a wonderful client right now that has one of the most complex set of disorders that I've ever seen. She was on kidney dialysis, has congestive heart failure, HIV, and breast cancer, and literally can't do a lot of things. And I had to come up with some sort of a regimen that could try to help with all of those and still be safe. I get off just a little bit. That was one I actually had to do my homework on. It actually took me weeks to put together the right set of herbs. But within a few weeks, she noticed her energy levels improved, that her kidney functions got better, and a lot of her markers for her immune system improved. And we're still waiting for the results of some of the others. So it's very safe. And she was on all of the herbs I tell you, or the, all of the prescription medications I tell people don't use herbs with unless you're an experienced clinician. So it's just a matter of doing our homework, knowing some really basic ideas that we can utilize herbs and drugs together in order to help other issues as well as reduce side effects and make those medications work better. So I hope I see you July 24th from 6 to 8 p.m. on Zoom. And be sure to register ahead of time. If you missed this one, check out the YouTube channel. I think we're going to have it saved and archived on there. And I teach this a couple times a year. I keep up with as much of the new information coming out so that I can safely address new prescription medications or new research as we find out new things about some of the herbal medicines. This is Bob Libby from Tradition School of Herbal Studies saying I hope I see you on July 24th for Herb Drug Interactions, pros and cons.